Okay, my friend, it's me again, Yoram Solomon. Uh, I know I promised I'm not going to shoot another video for at least a couple of weeks because I have other things, but somebody asked me a question about the last one on how to use OBS with Zoom, and I just couldn't resist. I answered that question, and I realized that there is something that you can all benefit from it. So I feel like I'm overburdening you with videos right now, so feel free to ignore them, but I'm going to give you another piece of advice. Here's the question that I was asked. I was asked, how do you um, annotate when you are in OBS over Zoom? So remember, when we're in OBS, this is what we're going to see, the entire screen, and we're not sharing another screen. And so how do you annotate? How do you get access to the annotation tools that Zoom offers you? Well, first of all, you can always share when you need to annotate something, share through Zoom, and then use the annotation tools, and you let the other people annotate if you so choose. But what if you don't want to, if you're going to be the only person to annotate? So the trick here is that we're actually going to be using a tool that's part of PowerPoint. So what you can see is right behind me is my PowerPoint. Yep, that's Maya, my older daughter, and that's me. Uh, of course, I'm pointing at a green screen. But uh, PowerPoint has an annotation tool, and I want to show you how it works. Now, one thing, one comment I have to make again is that both OBS and other tools, including Zoom itself, would only let you show or share the screen, the layer that you're currently on. So when you start opening all kinds of windows and menus and submenus and so on, they actually open as different menus. So I'm going to do things you're not going to see live what those menus look like, but I'm going to inject uh, screenshots that I already took of what those uh, menus look like. So it, it'll make it easy. Okay, so how do we annotate? Uh, first of all, let me move myself slightly to the right. So I am in OBS and in OBS, I went to the source, uh, the camera source, and I am moving myself to the left side that would allow me to annotate on the right side and let you see the annotation. Okay, now I am on the right, I'm, I'm on the PowerPoint screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do right click. So I'm doing right click, you don't see the menu uh, in front of you, but I'm, I'm going to put a screenshot there. When you open it up, it gives you all kinds of options. One of those options is called pointer options. So when we hover over pointer options, one of the options that we get is a laser pointer, a pen, or a highlighter. So I'm choosing pen, and the next thing that I know is, let's go, I'm sorry, I unclicked it already. Uh, you, can, you can actually see a little dot hovering near Maya's ear, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give Maya a little mustache, which I'm sure is something that she did when I was young. So now Maya has a little mustache, and this is how uh, how we use that. Uh, you can change the color, you can make it highlighter, you can change a lot of things. But since I'm already here, I want to show you another tool. Now, by the way, I am the master of uh, sub forty dollar tools, so I want to show you this little tool here. This is a little pen, a, a little uh, tablet. Uh, and this is a little pen. It cost me $37 to buy it. And the cool thing about it is that it makes annotations so much better. So we're going to do something to Maya's nose now. I'm not sure she's going to like this video, but uh, hey, she doesn't have to watch it. And do other things. And it is so much easier to write so naturally with the tablet than it is to uh, use your mouse for writing. Again, that's a $37 something. Uh, it has all kinds of functionality. I mean, you can uh, even zoom in with uh, one of the buttons. It has buttons on the top. Anyway, so this is how you can annotate. If you're using OBS, uh, use a function that uh, PowerPoint already has. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I can't promise anymore that I'm not going to have another idea and that I want to share with you. Uh, take care. Be safe. See you sometime.